guys welcome back to my channel trust you good hope everyone is okay today so today we'll be working with this oversized palazzo three-quarter pants we'll be turning it into a dress so if you want to know how it turns out most definitely you need to keep watching and if you are new to this channel what are you waiting for please click on the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our diy family and if you're already a subscriber you know i got my love for you so let's get this show on the road the first thing you want to do is to divide this pants into two from the crotch depth that is underneath the crotch depth just take your time and follow the seam allowance there and cut off two separate fabrics so once that is done place one on the other side we only need one for this project it should look like this afterwards and you have to separate the part with the elastic band we don't need elastic band so arrange your fabric properly place it flat and fold it into two equal parts once you folded this into two equal parts you reach out for your tape rule and start imputing the measurements so these are my measurements on the screen yours will be definitely different and if you are lucky you probably have the same measurements so which is cool anyways so impute your measurements the length the bust the under bust the waist circumference the hip circumference the lower hip circumference impute it according to your measurement and don't forget you need to divide your measurement into four because the fabric itself is folded into four parts once you have done this then you connect the markings on the side it should look like this afterwards now that we've connected the markings and everything is in place the next thing we need to do is to reach out for our scissors and cut the excess fabric on the side away since we don't need them but you have to keep it for later because we'll be needing it for the straps unfold the fabric into two and run an half inch sewing allowance on both sides of the dress so it should look like this afterwards as you can see trim out excess thread and turn the fabric outward it should look like this afterwards then what you need to do now is to reach out for the excess fabric earlier on and trim out the xx you know the part you don't want fold this into two parts i'm sure it's going to be bigger than the other because of the side curve and all that but don't stress about that what we need actually is just two inches wide fabric so cut off the excesses on the side and reach out for your tape rule and divide the fabric into two so this has been done now we're dividing this into two by one inch so you take your time just mark it there so that you can cut it divided into two equal parts reach out for your scissors and divide it into two it should look like this afterwards unfold and then fold it again into two parts but this time around we'll be going on the sewing machine and we'll be using zigzag stitches this is what it should look like afterwards and this is actually 13.5 inches now you have to reach out for your tape rule and measure the upper bust circumference which is actually 15 inches then divide three and a half inches on both sides whatever you have left in the middle shouldn't be more than eight inches or 7.5 inches but here we actually have eight inches so that should be where you attach your sling reach out for your safety pin and pin your sling on that part on the front and also the back so if you are still watching this and you're new to this channel what are you waiting for please click on the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our diy family and if you're already a subscriber you know i got my love for you please keep watching give this video a thumbs up share this video and also drop a comment yes drop a comment so the last um, sling has been attached to the dress now we are going to sew this it should look like this afterward and this is the final result so guys isn't it amazing from a ugly duckling oversized palazzo three-quarter pant to this lovely dress and this is not the only way you can style it you can style it like this you can use the belt you can wear a shirt inside it you can wear a t-shirt inside it you can even wear your jacket on it you know you can style it whichever way you want and obviously i will show you how i actually styled it in three or four different ways so i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to check out our previous post unboxing converse unisex all-star eye top sneakers three flip diy bodycon mini dress diy rip denim jacket and diy embellished padded headbands and a host of others so if you are new to this channel and you're still watching this what are you waiting for please come on join 
our diy family we love to have you here it's always fun with us you know we don't bore you we go straight to the point and our diy tutorials are straightforward and easy to to replicate by anyone our guidelines are straightforward anyone can actually do this it's so easy just follow the guidelines and you're good to go so guys thank you so much for watching see you on friday and if you are new to this channel like i said before click on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up drop a comment and share this video link just a quick reminder because i love you so much please check out our previous post how to quickly and easily fix the zipper unboxing converse unisex all-star eye top diy drawstring crop top from old t-shirt and i gave my nephew a haircut and a host of order so guys i love you so much bye